Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Review for today, Saturday, the 14th of August, 2021. I'm carrying the magic with me. Open Heaven's is authored by Adadin the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adewe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heaven's is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Alpha. You have been with us. We pray in the name of Jesus that as we learn at your feet today, you will teach us your word yourself. The entrance of your word will illuminate our lives and the wonder working power of your word will find expression in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is you don't need to struggle. You don't need to struggle. A memory verse is taken from Proverbs 10 verse 22. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow to it. Proverbs 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow with it. A Bible reading is taken from Deuteronomy 8, verse 10 to 18. Deuteronomy 8, verse 10 to 18. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he had given thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, in not keeping his commandment and his judgment and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flock multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast it is multiplied, then thy heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led thee through the great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fairy serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, who fled thee in the wilderness with who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do the good to do thee good at thy later end, and thou say in thy heart, My power and the might of my hand had gotten me his wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. Many people think they cannot prosper in life unless they struggle. We must know that there is a difference between struggling and work. Work is a divine vocation which started with Adam. The the Bible says in Genesis 2 verse 15, And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. The truth, however, is that you do not need to struggle before you prosper. It is true that you should be diligent. Because the Bible says the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. In the Bible reading of today, we discover some truth about the mind of God concerning prosperity for his people. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. It is unfortunate that many people of God do not know that God gives power and opportunities for his children to get wealth. For one major reason, that he may prove himself faithful to his word according to Exodus 3 verse 17. And have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt unto the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Milk and honey here symbolize prosperity. Beloved, I have good news for you. God is interested in the prosperity of his people. Prosperity from God is without sorrow. The Lord who prospers is the same Lord who protects. He will not give you a car that will become a death trap. He will not give you a child that will break your heart. This suggests to us that there could be counterfeit prosperity. The devil is the giver 
of that kind of prosperity. However, Jesus is the true source of prosperity and eternal blessing. He said the price in, he paid the price in full, hence, you can never regret being prospered by his benevolence. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 8, verse 19, For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye thou though he is, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The topic once more is you don't need to struggle. You don't need to struggle. Like we have been told today that a lot of people feel that before they can attain prosperity, they need to struggle. That is, they need to strive hard to achieve anything. That everything they have to achieve has to be in the face of the difficulty or resistance. But we have been made to, to we, have, we have been told today that no. Our uh, prosperity does not ha have to come as a result of struggle or striving so hard. They, have, they had, you know, it does not necessarily. It doesn't even have to be in difficulty before you can break through, before you can make, you can say yes, indeed, I'm, I'm, I, I, I have prospered. It does not have to be in the midst of resistance. Yes, God has commanded that we should work, that like we have been told, that work is a divine vocation. Which started with Adam, according to Genesis 2:15, and the Lord took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and keep it. It is necessary that we should work with our hands. God does not love laziness. However, we do not have to struggle. The Bible says, "The blessing of the Lord is make it rich and it added no sorrow to it. it." Does not add any difficulties to it. Yes, like we have been told, that is a we need, there's a good news. And the good news is that we do not need to struggle before we prosper. It is true that we have to be diligent in whatever we do. If we look at the account of Daniel, it was recorded that Daniel was diligent in what he did. Even in achieving prosperity, even among his peers, he was 10 times better than his peers. He didn't struggle. Yes, he was diligent. The Bible says that the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Rather than struggling, we, it is necessary for us to be hardworking, to be industrious, to be dedicated at whatever we do. We should have zeal. We should be committed in whatever it is that we will do. And indeed, the Lord will prosper us in Jesus' name. Amen. In the Bible reading today, we could discover that if we, it is obvious we could discover the mind of God concerning prosperity for his people. We could see that all that they achieved. All you know in the house they built, in the pro successes, in the, their flocks and everything. How God gave them water, He did it Himself. And the Bible says in Deuteronomy eight eighteen, He said, "But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is He that giveth power to get wealth." So it is obvious that everything they achieved, even from wherever, from Egypt to the Promised Land, the Lord gave, gave them power to get wealth. He brought opportunities their way. And if we have that mindset that he is the one that giveth power to get wealth, it is not, the Bible says the race is not to the swift nor to the strong, but it is the Lord. You know, it is of the Lord. That's why in some cases, it is not the best person in the class, the person that had the highest result that will make it. Because it is the race is not to the swift. It is not to the strong. It is not the most intelligent, but when we can know that indeed it is the Lord that giveth power to get wealth, no matter how difficult, how you know, almost impossible that wealth you want to get or the blessing you are looking at, if you can look up to God and you will do it with ease in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I told that it is unfortunate that many people of God do not know that God gives power and opportunities for his children to get wealth. And for this, for one major reason why God does this is that, that he may prove that he may prove himself faithful to his word. You know, like he said concerning them, that he may establish his covenant, which is swear unto thy fathers. You know, God likes to keep his word. And since he said he giveth power to make one, we can hold him accountable to that word. And indeed, he will give us power in Jesus' name. Just like he said in Exodus 3 verse 17. And I've said I will bring you up. Out of the affliction of Egypt unto the land of, of the Canaanites, and we could see that he did 
indeed he did it he said unto a land flowing with milk and honey and milk and honey symbolizes prosperity and god acted according to his word if the lord has told you that yes this is where i'm taking you to it is for you to have faith in him it is for you to look up to him and know that your struggle is over and indeed he will give you riches that will, that will, that will add that will add no sorrow to it in jesus mighty name Amen. Like another good news is that God is interested in your prosperity. I do not, no matter your state, no matter your status right now, or the level you are, or probably you feel you are in the lowest state. He's interested in your prosperity. That's why He said He wish above all things that we may prosper. Not only do is He interested in our prosperity, even in the prosperity of our soul. Prosperity from God is indeed without sorrow. He will not give you a car like we are read today that will put you in debt trap. He will not give you a child that will break your that will break your heart. Prosperity that is a destruction trap. You should know that it is a or a death trap. It's actually a prosperity from the devil. Are you tired? Some people are tired. They've been looking up to God and they can't wait. They are impatient and they find they now want to help themselves. And in helping themselves. The prosperity they get at the end of the day because the devil all is the business of the devil is to kill to steal and to destroy so he will give prosperity that will bring about destruction and, he, and not only earthly destruction but that will bring eternal with destruction may that not be a portion in the name of jesus because as a result of get, getting alternative the person would have doubled his own hand into demonic things and it will end in earthly destruction and eternal destruction may that not be a portion in the name of jesus the grace to wait on him the grace to hold on to his words and to have faith in him and to see him do it the lord will give unto us in the name of jesus like we have been told today that jesus is the true source of prosperity and eternal blessing he paid the price in full the bible says in second corinthians 8 9 says for ye know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that ye through his prosperity might be rich in every way in any aspect that we are looking up to god for one blessing or the other i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ that the lord will prosper us that indeed he will give us power to get wealth in jesus name amen and is there anyone who has looked so for alternative in getting wealth, in getting the blessing that he needs, and that blessing is giving you issues. It's almost is like a death trap. I pray that the Lord will have mercy upon you. He will take you out of that death trap. Instead of sorrow, he will replace it with joy. He will have mercy upon you. He will cleanse you in his blood in the name of Jesus and give you a new life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The prayer point says, Father, Please don't let me have to struggle before succeeding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our struggle is over. Struggle to get sound health. Struggle to get wealth. In any way that we are struggling, I pray in the name of Jesus that the struggle is over and the Lord will intervene in our lives and give us power to make wealth. And that indeed, that blessing of the Lord that make it rich and he added no sorrow with it shall be a portion in the mighty name of jesus amen thank you so much for listening god bless you amen